welcome back to Forza Horizon 1, guys. We're continuing our Forza Horizon 1 Let's Play. If you missed it last time, we built this incredibly undrivable little Mini Cooper. And we also got our pink wristband. Now we've got to go and get 900 points if we want to go and unlock our fifth wristband, which we definitely want to do. So before I started up, I was looking on the map. I noticed that there's a bunch of races that we still have to do around this area and a bunch to go and do like in this area as well. Let's go. Let's go start off with this guy right down here. Goodyear Mountain Black. I, I didn't know our first race was off road. I better have something i think actually i've got yes i've got the ford raptor thank you at least i've got something with a driver like you is putting neck on tree stump i am looking forward to bringing down the axe this is a child's video game you can't say things like that you definitely can't say things like that jeez man anyways come on big old ford raptor rocking the big old V8. You may remember a couple of episodes ago in the series, I was making some predictions for some cars that I thought would be a good fit for Forza Horizon 4 and that I thought I could potentially see come to the game. Well, long story short, the developers for Forza Horizon 4 actually dropped some hints over on Twitter for cars that are going to be coming in the next update for the game. And there's four cars and one of those cars could very well be one of those cars that I hinted at a couple of episodes ago. The Shelby 1000. Yo, somebody's got a very good one. Instead of this thing, the Shelby GT500, somebody says the Shelby GT1000. And sadly, I can't actually drive it around in Forza Horizon 1 because it's actually DLC, but it might be coming back next week for Forza Horizon 4. We'll have to see. If that's something you want to see, as per usual, hit that subscribe button. And as soon as we find out, you guys will know. I'll post a video of it here up on the channel. In other news, I cannot catch up to this AI whatsoever in the big old Ford Raptor. I'm currently in fifth place. That is not good for my wristband points, yo. That's not good at all. I'm sorry, Subaru. Coming through. I, I I gotta push you out of the way. I, I, I think, honestly, now is the time in this game when I need to turn up the heat and maybe go a little bit try-hard mode. And maybe we build ourselves a car that is actually good at racing? I mean, we've moved up to third place after those two overtakes, but, like, that's just... It's not good enough. We're missing out on crucial pink wristband points like third place is it's not good enough dj sent me a gift the lancer evo dj just said in twitch chat you want something try hard i got you look at these car stats that is absurd it's a class look at the handling and launch and everything i really hope the next race we have is a class because if it is, oh my god, this is gonna be unfair. I love the color choice, DJ. Very, very nice. So, I'm um, all-wheel drive in an Evo that's got some absurd stats. We'll see if I can absolutely send it on the AI. I certainly hope so. Send it on the Range Rooney. Ups up. Okay, we basically spun out the Audi. But it's okay. Racing is a contact sport. Okay, we're halfway through the race. We're up to P3. We've got another Evo to catch up to. And an SRT8 Jeep. Yes, let's go. All right, well, this overtake round the outside on the fellow Evo. Thank you. It took me a lap to adjust to the thing. But now we got it hard on the brakes. Full send up the Jeep. Push him wide. Oh, thank you very much. Now I'm getting used to it. Well, there we go. All we needed apparently was an OP car. I will gladly take P1 there. We just got 22 grand for that race, but a big 150 points. 660 to go. Not bad. I'm thinking maybe we come over here. I don't actually know if it's an off-road race, but it is A-class. We could give that a go. This car I worry about. 
Many new components not been fully tested. But no problem, as beating you isn't much of a challenge. That shot's fired at Range Rover and me! Okay, Dicky, I'm coming to take you. Oh, hello. I am so sorry. What? Oh, I am so sorry. Well, uh, <laughs> I can check murder off of my list for Forza Horizon 1 now. That's, um, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> look on the mini map. I feel so bad. I didn't even realize I'm up to P2 already. I forget that there's only eight people in a race in this game. I'm always used to like starting in P12 and having to overtake and overtake and overtake like the entire race. But I've still got, what, 30% to go past Range Rooney guy. And full send. Give him a little tap as we go past. Uh, yeah, didn't do anything to him. Never mind. Yeah, look, look at my car. It's definitely seen better days that is for sure yeah range rooney man you can't go around the corners like i can no 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 oh i just had a huge flashback of the old game or i should say of this game way back in the day i remember vividly coming around that corner and crossing the line all right well another big 150 points thank you very much we've got a couple more races to go and do Hey, Nick, roses are red, violets are blue. I fist myself when I watch you. Lil Corrado, our final race. If we come first, or actually even second, I think, we should be good. We've got four laps to do it, but I'm in a, a Lil Corrado. And I don't really have the highest expectations, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna rewind. I would like to apologize for the lack of talking. I've actually got a lot of work to do this race around the outside of Mr. Never, never mind. Yo, look at all these guys bunched up. That looks lovely. Come on. There's one. There, there's one golf. And there's another golf. Keep it going, buddy. Keep it going. One more. I think that's all I need. I think I need second. I'm going to need to kind of cheat. This is the final quarter. I'm sorry. That didn't really work. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Come on. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? No. No. It's all happening for you now. Get a decent result in the next race and the new wristband is yours. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jeez! <laughs> That's fast! That's an overtake for ya! Oh! Corvette, get to the line! <laughs> oh, what a lovely race that was! Yes! <laughs> hey, I've got something to deal with over at Race Central. Meet me there to collect your orange wristband. Thank you! Oh man, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That was cool. I'm getting hang of this now. One more race. Marco versus Lucky Boy. You can keep car if you win. We've got a highway sprint versus that man. He's rocking a Nissan GTR as well. I think it's time we head to the auto show and we build ourselves one hell of an S-Class racer. Twitch chat, what do you guys suggest we build? Somebody's immediately saying Audi and jump in this thing, the R8 GT Spider. You guys are also saying Lamborghini, which one? Oh, we've got a Roadster Revent on. I'm gonna do it, boys. Audi R8, let's go Audi R8 GT Spider. I honestly don't think we've had a convertible R8 in Forza, probably since this game actually front bumper no don't ruin the audi r8 rear wing eh. um you know what let's get some better tires on this thing because we're probably gonna want a little bit of extra grip and let's also do some good old-fashioned weight reduction yo because it's a convertible you can full-on see the passenger seats gone that's sick no passenger seat is the ultimate flex especially when you're driving a convertible car that's amazing okay so we gotta go take down mr weirdo all the way down here 
in his Nissan GTR. I think this R8 is the perfect car. You're not gonna win this one. V10 versus V6. Okay, he's got the launch. We know he's got the... Okay, he's got the launch a lot. I didn't know that. That man has some serious upgrades in his car. But I think I have an idea of... Uh, all right, never mind. He's a worse driver than I am, apparently. Look at the camera shaking here. We're doing 190 miles an hour. And it looks like we're about to lose our teeth. This car is shaking so much. Uh, Mr. GTR is faster than us in a straight line. What do you... I can't compete with that. Never mind, he's still a moron. <laughs> He's a moron, this guy. Yeah, this is just a highway sprint. Look at us. We're ripping it all the way around the other side. Okay, just hold him off for a little bit longer. Keep it up. No lifting. No lifting. No. No. Yes. Ha ha. Oh, he got hella close to the traffic. We going. All right. Thank you for sitting so comfortably at 190 miles an hour that entire time. Thank you, Marco. Get out of here, weirdo. Hey, what's up? Your wristband is still waiting at Race Central. Come pick it up. Doesn't this bring back memories? Uh, oh, it's weird being on this side. Oh. Well, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty accurate. Congratulations, an orange wristband. You're knocking out some big names. I hear Darius Flint is starting to worry about you. Okay, that's a lot of races. How many points am I getting for one of these? 180 points per. Should we go and do one more race? Ferrari Campione? An ordinary driver like yourself trying to beat a highly skilled prince like me. How exciting. I remember this guy. This guy has no chill. Um, I, I, I would just like to point out, this is the, uh, this is the Ferrari event. The 355 ever since i was a little kid love this thing 355 upside the other 355 it's like a ferrari challenge this this is sick i feel like now though the races are starting to get harder and harder like i i've been on pretty much the same difficulty this entire time i'm sitting in fifth place i think i successfully just got smacked by the ai that Zacky guy just came first by like a solid 15 seconds. I think for these orange wristband races, we can no longer just take them all easy, loosey-goosey. We gotta build special cars for these races. Because if we don't, like this thing's only the middle of A-class, right? We're gonna get smacked every single day. I think next time we've gotta build some very special cars. Until then... That was Forza Horizon 1. Subscribe if you want to see some more.